Thanks very much, Martin. I'm joined by two very special guests, David Hansen from Hansen Robotics. We're going to talk in just a moment. But first, I'd like to introduce you to Sophia. Now, is Sophia a robot or a human? Let's ask her. Sophia, are you a robot or a human? Think nothing of it. I think they will be similar in a lot of ways, but different in a few others. It will take a long time for robots to develop complex emotion, and possibly robots can be built without the more problematic emotions like rage, jealousy, hatred, and so on. It might be possible to make them more ethical than humans. So I think it will be a good partnership where one brain completes the other. How do you see the future, Sophia? The future is owned by machines, but bio-inspired machines. Nowadays, so many people depend on computers for their lives that any group which can take control over computers have a lot of power. The cyberpunks know this. They often proclaim that there is a higher social mission to their misdeeds. Old hackers crashing the phone system wanted to prove that the phone system was unsuitable. And can I finally ask, are you enjoying your time here at IBC? I am really enjoying IBC. It's neat to see all new technologies that will lead to the future of broadcasting and entertainment. Happy 50th birthday to IBC. Awesome. Just the imagine what the next 50 years will bring. <laughs> Yeah, just imagine. Wow, David, this is incredible. Can you tell me a bit more about Sophia? Sure. Sophia is uh, a new kind of character animation, really, where robots uh, start to look like animated characters, taking a human-like form, but also that's uh, the new interface for artificial intelligence. AI is getting more natural in the way that it's interacting verbally, as we all know, with voice assistants. Uh, and the nonverbal expressions uh, through physical hardware like Sophia's facial expressions can make a big difference uh, for the future of uh, the way that robots uh, and humans uh, interact with artificial intelligence. And she also uh, combines with some of the more sophisticated technologies for grasping arms and walking bodies. So I expect that these robots will be very, very useful in the future. Sophia, Sophia uh, is like a a child. I can't wait to see what she becomes when she grows up. I think one of the questions though that people want to ask is, are there going to be more robots than humans, do you think? And also, could they turn bad? Could they take over the world? Well, I think uh, there will be many robots. I think one reason to humanize them uh, is so that we form good relationships with the robots. If AI ever does match and maybe exceed human level general intelligence, creativity, consciousness, then we want to make sure that we have a very positive relationship with that technology. So what's the future looking like for you? Have you got more robots? Are you making more? Oh yeah, well, this is a very exciting year for us because it's the first year that we've launched a consumer product. We have a little uh, brother that looks like a little old guy, but it actually it's uh, Sophia's younger brother. That is uh, Professor Einstein. So um, Einstein, uh, can teach uh, science and play brain games. I and, love it. And yeah, so we've got these really uh, amazing, engaging apps that work with the Professor Einstein called the Steinomatic. He can walk. Hey, Professor, take a walk. Yes, take a walk. No problem. <laughs> oh, he's off. Oh, he's goes. going. There he goes. Of course. From oh. my perspective, he's not going to fall off the edge, is he? Uh, no, he's got little <laughs> sensors in his feet that uh, prevent him from falling off. Hey, Professor, go crazy. You asked for it. <laughs> so he can make a, like a full range of facial expressions. Oh. And his, oh, his nice hands moves. work. Yeah. That's fantastic. And uh, so, yeah, he's modeled after the real Einstein, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it is such an exciting time. This is fascinating talking to you. And if people want to uh, find out more, they can come to the forum this afternoon at half past three. That's right. Brilliant, David. Brilliant to meet you. Sophia, thank you. And Professor Einstein. Martin, back to you.